Yo, what's going on YouTube? Energenic here back with another video. So for today's video guys, I'm going to be giving you a snipe filter. I'm going to be giving you snipe filters for the new Prime Series 2 cards that they just dropped now. I don't think anybody expected for 2K to drop this. They don't ever drop Prime on Tuesday, but I don't know, bro. Maybe they're just trying to make some money. I don't know. Or maybe they got something crazy planned for Friday. I don't know. But basically, in these packs, we've got Opal Dirk, Opal Oscar Robertson. We've got Pink Diamond Alonzo Morning, Pink Diamond KD, Diamond Mike Conley, and Amethyst Marvin Bagley. So, this is going to be pretty interesting, man. Crazy how they make an Opal KD before they make a Pink Diamond one. Like, makes a ton of sense, bro. But... We're going to go ahead and we are going to look at these cards. But first, we're going to get the snipe filters in. So we're going to look at, um, no, yeah, we're going to get the snipe filters in for, you know, these cards. And we're going to look at the cards afterwards. So let's just get straight into this, man. And we're going to go into the auctions. And so we're here in the auctions. So for the first snipe filter, what you want to do is, obviously, the Opal filter is still probably one of the best ones. So just Opal filter, minimum buyout, 500 and then you can see obviously the new cards that just came out and you can see all the old opals as well now the only thing is is that ai is on this filter so what i actually do well actually let's let's look at ai's price first before i even say anything okay well iverson let's say i were to get an iverson right now he's actually not that bad because he's actually he's gone up in price so but i would still rather not take the risk because his price fluctuates sometimes you'll make profit off him sometimes you won't so you can use this filter without filtering out Iverson, but I actually do filter him out. You can see I have all these opals right here in my auctions. Basically, these are the, the opals that I don't want to filter out without also filtering out Iverson. So I have Iverson in my collection, and then I would just go ex exclude your own cards, and then I, you know I just go back to opal, and then I put minimum buyout, and then now I can see literally every opal in the game besides Iverson, right? So I, I'm just going to keep them. I have seven, almost 800 KMT. There's, there's no point in me selling the Iverson that I have if I can, you know, filter him out. I'm still going on MT either way. So this is what I would do. And, you know, you can see literally any Opal on the filter like this. And whatever you see, you want to snatch because it's all profit. All right. So for the next filter, this is a, a Prime VIP Series 2 filter specifically. Now, literally, I just put prime vip series 2 and i put pink diamond because now that all of the prime packs are out all of the vip cards are out too so now we know all of the cards that are out i'm gonna go pink diamond prime vip series 2 and you can get some pretty good cards off this filter so you see right here walt frazier is the cheapest so honestly you can actually buy walt frazier if you want to what's it called filter him out but what I would do is I would just drop this to around 15k around there. And then, you know, if you see a Walt Frazier, you can sell him for around 20,000. You can sell him for 20,000 MT. That's almost like a 5,000 MT profit. I would drop it to 15k. And then uh, Pink Diamond Prime VIP Series 2. And literally all the, all the VIP Series 2 cards are available. So you put this to 100k. And then you can get the new KD. You can get the Lonzo Morning. You can get uh, Iguodala, you can get Klay Thompson, Russell Westbrook, um, like I said, Walt Frazier already, and Jimmy Butler. Like, these are all guys you can get for cheap. These guys don't go for this amount, so if you, if somebody happens to throw up one of these guys for cheap, you can finally get them. And now, since all the cards are out, there's a, there's a ton of them, so I would expect some of them to get thrown up. Maybe the Alonzo Morning would be the most frequent one, since he's the one available in packs right now. But if... But I'm pretty sure 2K is going to drop super packs for Prime. They always do this stuff once the you know the last stuff comes out. So once they drop super packs, you can do this too. Because now at that point, all of the pink diamonds are going to be available. And then that's when dudes are really going to start throwing these dudes up. So, But for now, you can use this, see what you get. And um, yeah, just good luck with that. Now, another filter that you can use is this is actually like a Warriors filter. So you can go because obviously Clay and KD, those are the main guys you'd be trying to snipe on this filter because those guys are going to give you profit. So you go Warriors and then you go Theme Prime Series VIP Series 2. And then you would see Clay Thompson, which is a good card and he goes for a lot. And then obviously Kevin Durant. I don't think there's anyone else on this filter that you know I can think of right now. 
So you can snipe both of these guys. So let me see. You'd go, you put your max buyout to whatever the cheapest Clay Thompson is right now because KD is not a buyout and I don't expect him to be anytime soon. So look, I mean, Clay's not going for cheap. Clay's a good card. Let's see what the cheapest one is. 89,000. Uh, yeah, 88,000 for the cheapest clay. So this is this is actually gonna be this might be a decent filter. It'll probably be better once the super packs drop, but you can you can definitely see a KD on this filter, and I'm I anticipate some KDs going up for cheap. So this, if you get a good snipe, you can make some profit off of it. So I would go my my max buy out to 80k, and I'd put the max bid to 100k. So now you've got max bio 80k, max bid 100k. You got Warriors Prime VIP Series 2. You don't need a color. And then, you know, you just keep refreshing. And you see what pops up, either KD or Clay. I mean, Clay's not available in packs, but people might still throw them up. You know, that it still happens. But KD is going to be popping up. I don't know how frequently, but he can definitely pop up. And if you do see a KD, bro, pick that up ASAP, okay? And if you see a Clay, pick that up ASAP. So good luck with this filter, man. I literally just thought of this off the top of my head. Not too many players on it, but like I said, it's just those two players. Um, and maybe hopefully you guys can get something from it. All right, so another series for you guys is, yo, I said another series. Another filter for you guys is Prime Series 2. And then you just go uh, minimum buyout 500. And literally any of the Prime cards can pop up. So that's D-Wade, Ben, um, KD, Chris Stapps, and um, Oscar. So this is actually a good filter because none of these guys are buy nows. D Wade went up and Chris Stapps went up because of the new KG. I, I, I kept telling people, once the card is revealed, these cards are gonna go up in price. So D Wade went up in price. I mean, not that he's a crazy snipe, but that, that's still profit. D Wade is the cheapest one out of all of them. So you might see him most often. Look, KP, this one's got an infinite contract, eight minutes left, it's going for 400K plus. So. If you have these guys already and you don't care about them, now's the time to sell them. But go Prime Series 2 and go Minimum Buyout 500. And then just keep increasing and see what you can get. Any of these guys are snipes. And you know what's crazy? Now that this filter is out, this is going to be less, this might be less competitive than, than the Opal filter. You can go on the Opal filter or you can go on this filter for huge profits. So that's actually a, something you can do if you really want to lock in, if you're focusing on locking in. I would use this filter instead of the Opal filter because the Opal filter is probably going to be more sweaty, you know, and you can still see Oscar on this filter and Ben. So, you know, I would definitely use this filter if I were you. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to actually look at these players and see how good they are. And we're going to go to the collection to do that. So we're going to go premium prime series two. And you can see I have four out of the five. I just need Oscar. I'm definitely getting this, this guy. Look, you lock in for KG. A lot of people th thought it was going to be KG. Some people thought it was going to be Kawhi, LeBron. A lot of people said it was going to be KG as well. So, you know, I guess kudos to them. But literally all I need is Oscar. So first, let's look at Oscar. I mean, they, they just keep, they love releasing these tall point guards, bro. 2K, I don't know what's wrong with these dudes. But he's going for what, 648 with two hours left. That's, that's tough, bro. But, um... Actually, should I open a pack, bro? I'll open up one pack since these packs really aren't too expensive. I'll open up one pack, see what I can get, man. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe I maybe I get an open. I don't know. Usually when the prime comes out, I like to open one pack, and I get nothing. All right, see that. That's why I don't. That's why I never do it. That's exactly why why I never do it, man. We're just gonna sell that. Let's go back to the collection, man, and look at these players because I do want to see how good they are. And I want to see how good that Oscar is. But I don't really want the Oscar for my team. I mean, maybe he'll make my team. Depends. But he's 6'5". So, I mean, I guess he's okay. We'd have to compare him to D-Rolls, which I don't have on my team right now. But we'll compare him to Ben for now. And let's see, man. Well, he's got a 98 driving layup. He's got 92. He's pretty good. He's really good in the post. About the same as Ben. Uh, not a little, a little better. But he's a better mid-range shooter, better three-point shooter. 96, well, I mean, my Ben isn't evo but 96 three-pointer on Oscar Robertson. Then he's got 96 free throw. He's got a 90 driving dunk. His passing is really good, so he's a better passer than Ben. And what is it? The defense, he's a little bit worse defender than Ben. A little bit worse, 
but actually he might be better because for some reason Ben feels like so sluggish on lateral defense so I don't know if anybody else feels like that way but he might be a better defender I think he he could be he's a better rebounder as well and he's faster with the ball and he's got higher lateral quickness so the badges he's got 39 hall of fame 25 gold so he has more badges but this Ben does get a few more on hall of fame he, get, he gets like 40 hall of fame when he's evoed so keep that in mind but volume shooter catch and shoot floor general difficult shots acrobat uh, Tyler shooter, relentless finisher, slippery all ball, ankle breaker, range extender, quick draw, hot star, lob city passer, dimer, pick pocket, pick dodger, hot zone hunter, green machine, clamps, defensive leader, heart crusher, flexible release, intimidator, dead eye, clutch shooter, unpluckable, tight handles, space creator, quick first step, tireless defender, trapper, needle threader, handles for days, consistent finisher, contact finisher, downhill, slithery finisher, pro touch, giant slayer, fake man, you know, completely fake, but what can you say at this point right like what can you say nothing no, nothing this is gonna keep dropping these fake cars and there's nothing we can do about it but you know he's got some gold badges too he's got back down punisher worm post move lockdown pogo stick stop and go rebound chaser uh box chase down artist ice and veins corner specialist so you know this card feels like what i'm what i'm looking like it looks like that pink diamond russell westbrook but better so he, like he's a great rebounder um you know very athletic he can shoot so that's what it looks like because you know they, they both got triple doubles so they both average triple double so i can see that you know i can see him playing similar to that westbrook maybe not as crazy on the dunks though all right so now we're gonna look at dirk and bro this is dirk i'm going for 330k with two hours left he's got 42 hall of fame badges let's compare it to tim duncan i think that's a really good comparison he's seven feet Bro, if he's better than my Tim, I'm going to be tight, bro. I know he's going to be a better shooter for sure, but no way he's a better defender. Let's see. He's got a 99 post fade, 96 post hook. So they're almost the same in the post. Um, he's got a, what, 99 mid-range, 98 three, 98 free throw. So he's definitely a better shooter, and that's expected. But Tim Duncan is way more athletic. He's got, what, 98 standing dunk, 85 drive. I mean, this is not a comparison video, bro. I don't know why I'm doing this, bro. Let's just focus on Dirk for this. If I get him, I can make a comparison video. But let's see. 92 pass IQ, 84 accuracy. Okay. 92 block, 94 interior defense. He's got 79 perimeters. So not the greatest perimeter defender, but he's he's decent in the interior. He's a good rebounder too, 97 offensive, 98 defensive. And he's not that fast. Not that the, he's not that athletic. So but let's get to the badge. He's got 42 Hall of Fame. He's got 17 gold. So Brick wall, catch and shoot. Bro, I don't even want to say all of these, man. I'm going I'm to skip through some of them. Brick wall, catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shot, pick and popper, volume shooter, uh, Tyler shooter, slippery, off ball, range extender, uh, quick draw, ice and veins, hot star, box, hot zone hunter, defensive leader, green machine, flexible release, intimidator, moving truck, rebound chaser, deep phase, post move, lockdown, dead eye, clutch shooter, worm, back down punisher, consistent finisher, contact finisher, uh, deep hooks. He's got fancy footwork. He's got Dream Shake, Slithery Finisher, Bailout, Gold, Downhill, Giant Slayer, Fast Break Finisher, Quick First Step, Pogo Stick, Interceptor, Hard Crusher, Clamps, which is really important that he has Clamps, Rim Protector, Dimer, he's got Relentless Finisher, so not a bad card, bro, not a bad card, this, this guy seems to be pretty good, I wonder what his jump shot is going to feel like, so, I mean, we I've been waiting for a good Dirk. This is really like the only good Dirk that's in the game. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, man. We're on the road to 6K, bro. We're getting real close. We're getting real, real close. Let me check where we're at right now, bro. Bro, we're at 5 point. Bro, we're less than 100 subscribers away from 6K. We just hit 5.8 like 12 hours ago, bro. You guys are literally going insane, bro. I don't know what's going on. Thank you so much for all the love and support. We're on the road to 6K, man. We're going to be there real soon, probably tonight. So we'll, you want to be in stream for that when that happens. I stream every day at 5 p.m. Eastern. So tune into those. And yeah, with that said, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.